care network. A, that they've issued some warrants to promoters. Also need to understand what the Uttar Pradesh farm loan waiver impact is on the company. H.P. Singh, the CMD at Saturn Credit Care Network, joins us on the show right now. Mr. Singh, good afternoon. First, today's news. What's the impact on capital because of the recent preferential allotment to ADB and warrants on a preferential basis to promoters? And if you could just quantify what is the total capital that you've raised? Uh, so, ADB is coming in and buying about 4.2% equity stake of our company. Okay. Uh, they're bringing in about $10 million uh, uh, to buy this 4.2% uh, stake. Uh, the promoters are also putting in uh, close to about, uh, we are buying close to about 0.6 uh, 6 million uh, shares for the company. So, our capital, uh, capital adequacy ratio post uh, ADBs coming in and post the promoters' warrants coming in uh, will be close to about 30.6%. Uh, which would comprise of about 24% of uh, tier 1 and about close to about 7% uh, of tier 2 capital. How do you plan to utilize these funds raised? So this fundraise is, uh, is planned for our next year growth uh, where we've given a guidance of uh, 5,500 crores uh, up from our uh, March 31st numbers which are uh, provisionally at about 4,000 crores AUM. Uh, so it gives us a 40% growth uh, by this uh, raising of capital and we'll be sufficiently then also be capitalized after doing this growth uh, uh, with ADB and the promoters uh, uh, warrants coming in. Okay, and uh, once you are sufficiently capitalized, do you want to share uh, what kind of expansion we can expect? Uh, so we're moving in a couple of other states, you know, primarily in uh, Orissa and uh, West Bengal. Uh, so this will take care of our expansion of branches. We've opened up close to about 60 branches in uh, the last quarter of uh, 2017. And we uh, are hopeful of opening up, uh, opening up another 100 branches uh, across in the next uh, fiscal year. And uh, this will take our uh, tally of our branches uh, completely to about 700 branches up from about, uh, about 570 right now, uh, where we are in. So you have 570 branches right now. Mr. Singh, can you also tell us um, your exposure to Uttar Pradesh? And, you know, I'm guessing you know why I'm asking about Uttar Pradesh. is to do with that farm loan waiver. What's the impact of that on your collections? Has it started to affect? And uh, do you think this could have an effect on other states as well in your business? Uh, so I, I think, you know, uh, as not anticipated by a lot of people, the farm loan waiver has had a minimal impact on our collection efficiencies. Uh, it's been about four days since we've done collections uh, post the announcement of uh, the farm loan waiver. Uh, the collections have remained uh, very stable. In fact, they've ha we've seen a certain uh, small amount of spike also in our collection. So I think the impact of uh, the farm loan waiver, which uh, probably has been uh, demonstrated very well in making it uh, understand to people that this is not related to the microfinance institution. This is only related to uh, farm loans, seeds, fertilizers, and for small and marginal uh, farmers. So I think the major impact, which probably a lot of people were anticipating that this will actually uh, go down to uh, for the microfinance institution also, uh, has not been there. And uh, we feel that I think you know uh, this will probably remain the same across everywhere. Even if we have farm loan waivers now in probably other states coming up, if, if it's there. I think you know people are very well aware of that. Uh, it, it, it is not for micro institutions because these these loans are for income generating activities for uh, people who are in various other trades also. Okay, good to hear that. So, what would be the out outlook for your FIAT disbursements and your AUMs? If you could share the number with us. So, AUM we we, uh, we will have a forty percent growth uh, from uh, uh, about four thousand crores uh, uh, this year end. Uh, which will go on to about 5,500 crores. You know, that, that's what we are anticipating as a growth uh, momentum for the next year. Just coming back to the warrant issues to promoters, after how many months will the warrants issued to promoters be converted? And what will be the impact of the same on your promoter stake? By how much would it change? Uh, so I think we get uh, statutorily about 18 months to put in the balance amount of uh, money on the warrants. Uh, but hopefully, I think we'll be doing it earlier than uh, than that. Uh, in terms of our percentage, we are close to about 33.5% uh, promoter stake in the company, which will increase by another 2%. So it will go down to about 34.5% or to 35%, you know, after the 
uh, these warrants get converted into equity shares. Mr. Singh, I'd just like to come back uh, to the farm loan viva. I know it's early days ahead. You're saying that you're seeing similar kind of collections. In fact, there's been a slight spike as well. Uh, therefore, should I understand that there would be no change in provisions, uh, no change as far as gross NPS, etc., go for the sector? So the gross NPS technically remain the same as uh, prior to what the farm loan waiver was. So uh, you're right, early days as yet, but I think, you know, if the impact would have been there, where people would have looked at farm loan waiver in a different uh, way altogether. I think that's that's probably not there. So in terms of our gross NPS and everything, I think it remains the same, you know. Uh, my own sense is that, you know, whatever has happened because of demonetization, has been, I think, you know, the farm loan waiver has not added on to it. So whatever is there is just the post demonetization effect uh, where uh, livelihoods have been impacted to a certain extent. So it will remain on that uh, uh, on that note altogether. So it doesn't add up with the farm loan waiver as such. Well, that's, I think that's that's pretty much clear right now. Mr. Singh, thank you so much for being candid and joining us here in ET now with all the details, the impact of the farm loan waiver, no impact as of now, as well as the uh, warrant issue. Thanks a lot again for joining us in Markets at Lunch.